So welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, 8744. So today, guys, I want to do a little fun topic for you guys. This was a really interesting question by you, sir. So I did a members Q&A uh, last month, for the month of July, uh, August. And this was a really good question asked by Yosir. So shout out to Yosir. He asked this question. So he asked me, what are the five biggest national teams for each confederation? I thought this was such a great question that I wanted to do a, um, a video about this. And so I want to know what you guys think in the comments below. Because for Asia, guys, I was look so I'll just give you guys my quick takeaways. And if you guys want a more detailed video, check out the member stream we did earlier today. So you get access to members' videos, member streams, and where you guys can suggest the topics, and it's like a free for all stream. This one, I'm just going to go ahead and just give you guys a brief answer, okay? For me, the big dilemma with Asia was obviously Saudi Arabia, Australia, uh, Saudi Arabia, Iran. Because both have made the same amount of World Cup appearances. I went with Saudi Arabia third because Saudi Arabia had made a round of 16, whereas Iran haven't. So it was close. I decided to go with Saudi Arabia though. And then, um, and then I think the rest are pretty self-explanatory. Now, this one was the interesting, guys. This one is debatable. This one, I went, I valued for both AFCON and your World Cup appearances, right? So Cameroon have done the best, right? You know, Cameroon have been the best consistent at both ends, which is why they're number one. Egypt, not number one. I went with Nigeria over Ghana because Nigeria, sure, they, I think Ghana's won more AFCONs than them. But here's the thing. Nigeria have made more World Cups than Ghana. And right? And for me, I think, for me, I feel like, I feel like World Cup appearances mean more. World Cup appearances mean more. Because it shows that to me that you're more consistent throughout time. Right? So, you can make an argument for Ghana. You can. It's very close because, like I said, Ghana's only won four and Nigeria's won three. So, there is an argument to be made. But I feel like World Cup appearances have to be considered. And Nigeria have been far more consistent World Cup qualifying-wise than Ghana. So, that for that reason, I'm going to go Nigeria third, Ghana fourth, Algeria fifth. They're kind of like the best of the bunch. Um, you know, Algeria is usually fairly consistent. I could have also maybe mentioned like Ivory Coast. I could have mentioned. I could have maybe mentioned Morocco. I could have mentioned Senegal. But I feel like those three nations have been more recency than historical, right? So, and I'm looking at historically. So that's why I didn't put um those three nations in the fifth place. Um, for Concacaf, um, it was also very difficult. I went with Mexico, USA. I think that's fairly straightforward. Costa Rica third is fairly straightforward. The huge thing with this one is Honduras and Canada. Now, you can make an argument that Canada have done more um, than Honduras, historically speaking, because, you know, Canada, of course, won the Gold Cup after all. But I'm looking at team, I'm looking at, um, I'm looking at just historically speaking. Sure, Honduras haven't won the Gold Cup, right? But Honduras have made more World Cup appearances than Canada. Canada have only won one Gold Cup appearance. I'm sorry, one Gold Cup win and two World Cups. Whereas Honduras have made three World Cups and zero um, uh, wins. But they did make the final though in 1991. And, you know, they've got a lot of fourth place finishes. So, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of semifinalists. So I, it's a really difficult one, but I'm going to go with Honduras fourth. But you can make argument for Canada fourth if you want. Then for me, for Condable, I think Brazil Argentina is fairly straightforward. That's obvious. Uruguay. I think this is as obvious as well. And then Chile, Colombia. Now, you can make an argument for either per Paraguay or Peru making the top five. I think Chile, for me, has to be fourth, though, because they made so many World Cups. And, you know, they want to Copa Americas as well. Colombia, I think, is fifth because Colombia have been very consistent throughout the World Cup qualifying cycle. And they got a Copa America win. And they've been great in recency. Whereas, like, Peru and Paraguay, Paraguay have fallen off, right? I think Paraguay have fallen off ever since they made that Copa America final 2011 in this 21st century. But they were really good. So I think Paraguay is a very close shout. I actually put Paraguay as like six. They're like honorable mentions. And Peru, very close as well. I just didn't put them in. And then UEFA. UEFA, I think this is fairly straightforward. Uh, Germany, Italy is definitely top, very obvious. Spain, France. You can maybe argue that France could be above Spain, but I just think Spain has just been really dominant, you know, internationally and the World Cups, you know. Um, and so that's why I put Spain. But you can make argument for France um, because both these national teams really peaked. On the, on the the late ends of the uh, 21st, uh, late ends of the 90s, um, you know, and the Spain won the first World Cup 2010, France won 1998, but I think that Spain is above France, but you can make argument France above Spain, and then England for me fifth. Sure, England may not have won a Euro trophy, but these other four nations, but they won a World Cup, and for fifth place, it was really difficult. I think the, the audible mention I will go is Netherlands. Netherlands. So, like I said, guys, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you guys think my top five is fair for each confederation? And let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please remember to like and subscribe. And peace out. And remember to become a member, guys. Remember to become a member.